Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create histograms in Minitab. In order to do so we need data of course and so I've gone ahead and generated randomly two variables here X and Y. I have 200 observations and I've sorted them into two groups and I'd like to start by just doing a very simple histogram of one variable. So let's go ahead and let's pick Y as our variable and put it here. We're not going to use any of the options just yet. Let's see what the histogram looks like right off the bat. Okay, so here we have our frequency and we have our values of Y and it looks to me that this is a pretty uh, normal uh, Gaussian type of distribution here. You have your bulge right here at the center and it declines as you move towards the tails. So that's a pretty handy thing to do. We can kind of complicate this now a little bit by adding some features. So why don't we go back to graph histogram and add or fit. Now if you remember I was just saying that it looks to me as if this is a fairly Gaussian uh, distribution, a normal distribution for Y. It sure looks that way to me. Well if you feel that way you can go ahead and impose uh, the normal distribution on top of your histogram in Minitab. And in this case for example you can kind of see you know how your intuition uh, might be correct. You see here that we also have our mean a standard deviation and number of observations listed for the histogram which is handy. Now let's do a couple of other things. I'd like to go back and do a histogram by group and I'd like to add the fit as well. All right so why don't we just go from simple down here to with fit and groups click OK. Let's say we're interested in the Y variable and our group variable which we've created is over here. I just want to quickly take you through some of the options here for scale. You can put in some grid lines and reference lines if they're of interest to you. Uh, here for labels we can just type in anything that we like. For our title and subtitle I just want to show you what those look like. For data view here we have some options uh, with our distribution like for example we could put we could overlap a different kind of distribution um, than normal uh, which is very handy of course if you're working with you know other kinds of data we can put a smoother over it and you know we can go ahead and change some aspects of the data display if we would like to do that under data options we can create some subsets further if we wanted to do that let's just go ahead and click OK to the options that we've entered and now we see we have separate histograms for group 1 and group 2. We have some information about the uh, about the distribution here. We see our lines of best fit. It didn't seem to be very useful in this sense. Like I can look at this graph and imagine that it's, it's more difficult to interpret having them overlap. So what we could do, for example, is go back to graph, histogram. And let's say we're going, okay, let's go here. Let's go to with fit graph variables let's put X and Y then we'll put multiple graphs and we'll go over here by variables so let's go ahead and do this let's put group over there and click OK and see what we have so now we have a separate histogram of the X variable with the normal curve superimposed on that and we had that for group two, now we have that for group one as well. And here for Y, we have the histogram for group two and the histogram for group Y. So if it seems as if you have a lot of permutations there with your histograms, uh, the easier option in, in Minitab would be to go in and create some separate histograms instead. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence.
We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.